that's, that's the most fundamental problem. I think the regulatory framework has to address it. But I don't think it's possible to address that today. Nor this year, nor next year. But hopefully somebody who steps up next year will be able to not only recognize that, but take a view on it. And I think that will help you know, sanitize uh, you know, how beliefs and perceptions are shaped. As I said, they're so malleable and they tend to serve the interests of the stronger ones. And the stronger ones, unfortunately, are those with political interests at the moment, not just economic interests. The second, or the first part of the question, we can talk about you know, deficiencies in law enforcement, but I think what has been apparent to a lot of people from within and without is the tangoing between the legislative branch of the government with the apparatus, right? They tend to dance together. And that makes rule of law a little bit difficult or more difficult than it should be. I think if one dares to take a view on the rule of law by way of this apparatus that's within the executive branch, that will, I think, quite significantly dilute the value proposition of the legislative branch. And be hopeful that the next political process will weed out whatever needs to be weeded out or whoever needs to be weeded out in hopes that people see, hey, it actually is not too bad for an ex-banker to join the government. And I, I think, uh, look, I mean, I've, I've been able to recruit uh, special staff from the private sector, and they make no more than $500 a month. I make $1,900 a month plus a sack of rice. But the thing is, I, I have attained enough financial independence to the point where, you know, if I get hit by a bus tonight, my family will be okay financially, not spiritually. <laughs> but the staff that I've recruited, I think, have taken that view. And I think it's, it's going to spread out. Uh, and, and, you know, uh, the BKPM that I nurtured uh, for three years until about six months ago, you go there and you try to get a PMA license, it won't take you any more than two days. Some have only taken five hours. If you come to my ministry and you try to get an export and import license, it will not take you any more than two days. Before that, it takes or it took a lot longer. So I think this, this will happen, but the problem is the audience likes to get it done yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I tell people what I pitch is directionality. I don't pitch absolutes. It won't happen tomorrow. But if you take a 5, 10, 15 year view, I think we will be less corrupt. I think we will be better educated. We will be better. I, I tend to think that way. Unless some externality beyond the control of everybody just rips it apart. Or there's some centrifugal force that rips the country apart. That's beyond me. 